Immortals, I am Jensen and welcome back to Remnant 2's Dark Horizon DLC. There's a few things we didn't get to in the last episode and we are going to be going back into the game for a quick clean up run. So there are a couple of things we missed, there are a couple of weapons, there is an entire suit of armour and of course there is going to be the robot. The robot that we were putting together, I think we were just one part shy of it. We're going to fire back into the game and we're going to see if we can't maybe discover what that last part was for ourselves and then we'll get the rewards we'll see if it's worth it we'll see if it's not worth it and then we can lay this game to rest oh wait have we been down there i'm gonna check really quickly oh no we haven't ah okay so this has got to be something right this might be possibly one of the last parts for the robot this might also be the armor i've got no idea let's try and figure it out together there is a couple of dudes down here. Ah, oh, we haven't been here. I just saw it on the, on the map. There's a lot of dudes that are attacking us right now. That's not amazing, honestly. We'll try and do as much shooting as we possibly can. Okay, we definitely got that hit off. I think maybe he actually landed that melee attack as well, though. Just kind of before we had the chance to kill him. Would you piss off, sir? There's one guy on the ground over here harassing us. Okay, I'm going to kill him with the uh, good old scythe, I think. And this guy as well with the scythe. Nice. So this is all completely new, and when I turn like this, the minimap is completely blurry. Great. This place was incredibly well hidden. What is that? I actually see a little item over there. I'm not entirely sure what it is. It looks red, which would tell me it's maybe a quest item. So let's keep on maybe plugging in through here. We'll see if we can't figure out exactly what it is. We'll get our sandblaster right. out as well. Let's do this. Do what? Are there actually enemies? Oh, piss. What the hell are these things? Oh, okay. I didn't expect that. Let's try and sand him at his, at his feet. Okay. Nice hit there, buddy old pal. Nice hit. you got to give him credit where credit's due, right? Oh my god. Where are they all coming from? There are so many zombies over here that weren't in here before. Okay. We're going to roll all the way through there. And we got him. Oh my god. He was actually a bit of a pain in the ass skill. All right. Now that we got him out of the way, hopefully there's not really going to be anything else in... Oh! Audio log. What does this say? Axiom Cadia, Seeker Tertius of the Convocation. Hey, this is attempt 16 to speak with the Guardian. Shahala, I once again address you personally. The forum regarding Alepsis Torah is imminent, and a decision must be made. There's no more stalling. You have traveled with the Vizier for countless millennia. You taught us the ways of the cosmos. Surely you must know what lies within Alepsis Torah. Now, answer me. Does Talratha and the other adult-brained astropaths speak true? Will Alepsis Torah consume us all? Speak, damn you! What? Of course he can speak, right? He's the guardian. Be silent. The custodian, then. Is his calculus accurate? Will Narud endure the forces of the event horizon? You must help us, guardian. There's no coming back from this precipice. Tell us what to do! I know you can speak! That's it. Enough! Put him back in the harness. Useless massive waste. Okie dokie, that sounds like a frustrated guy. Oh, the prototype memory girl. Okay, this is gonna be like the last thing that we needed for the big robot, right? Which I actually thought, I did think. Believe it or not, that that was how we got the Warden Archetype. But it seems like that was actually significantly easier than we thought. I have no idea what that means. And we also found this prototype memory core right here, which is kind of fancy. Oh. What does this do? Oh, okay. Prototype memory core. A small complex device to be inserted into an awaiting intelligence's shell. Though tiny, it dictates all that a machine is and can be. I still don't really understand... Who the Drazir are or anything like that. Can we press it again? Oh, we kind of can. Hey, we've got choices! Okay, this is red. It gives us nothing else in terms of context. I don't know what it does. We may as well just, like, keep it red, right? What's the difference? Oh, my God, that was cool. I didn't even see that there was thunder in the sky. We're off to the repair lab. This is where the robot was hanging out, right? And I'm pretty sure this is the last piece required to actually get it functioning. I think there are only like, I hope it's not five. I hope it's not five items that we actually need to get to repair the robot, but we are in fact just about to find out. We got his claw and we also got his brain, I think. Hey there buddy, what's good? Yeah, sure. Uh, I've got something for you. It is your hand. 
Right here. Hand. Nice. He can whack off now. I've got something for you. It is a prototype memory core. Here you go, buddy. Enjoy. Analyzing. Please stand by. Confirm. Restoration complete. Threat elimination systems are fully operation. So is this guy going to give us like a mod or something? Necessary and is advised to execute its death preparation sequence. What do you mean? Oh no! Oh, piss! No! He's got cubes! No! Actually, this is not that bad. Gotta be oh, piss! That was really painful, actually. Uh, let's try and fire away as hard as we can. Sand! Go, go, get the sand! Go, go, get the bird! Okay, uh, we don't want to be hit by any of those little cubes right there. Where'd he go? Where is he? Go, go, help! Oh, he's behind us! What the hell? He is so goddamn fast! Okay, good. Seems like we are playing Ring Around Rosie once more. Jesus! He is something else! Oh my god, is this guy actually a boss? Seriously? Oh, well, thanks for the heads up, game! Okay, we're gonna go with the sand. Let's try and learn his attacks yet, because it seems like we need to. Oops, that's what I want here. Good. And we'll dodge that, or not. Let's dodge through. Probably makes the most sense, right? And we should probably move sideways as well. Good, we'll shoot bird. Go, go, gadget bird! Uh, let's just run in there. And red. Good. Okay, we still got hit by that, that's unfortunate. It's fine though, I suppose. Okay, good, we didn't get hit by that, which is awesome. Awesome. Bird, I think, is actually stunning him. Okay, there's cubes right there. That's uh, not amazing. Let's just run in and get of them. Okay, we don't want to be hit by that. I think our health regeneration is actually doing us an enormous amount of health. It seems pretty insane, actually. Ugh. Okay, that is us down. We are halfway down. I, did, I don't even get the chance to look at his health bar these days. All right, I know you won, doggo. Uh, here you go. Here's more sand. And I don't want to be hit by that at all. Good. And let's shoot him with this. And go, go, catch a bird. Ow. That hurt. That hurt. Oh, damn it. Okay. Fuck. This guy's actually pretty hard. I didn't realize that he would kind of be so tricky right off rip. But I didn't even really know he was going to be a boss. I thought he was going to just give me a mod and then be done with it, right? That was basically what I was looking at. Uh, we wait for it to go red and then we dodge. Great. Okay, there's more cubes. Uh, here's some sand, buddy. We got killed. <laughs> he, just, he literally just walked up to us and one hit us. Oh my god, I just realized we actually have the Warden class already. I keep thinking that this guy unlocks it for some stupid reason, but he actually doesn't. Okay, let's go ahead and roll into the cube, I think. I think that's a really fucking good idea. Oh my god. Hey, shit, you fucker. Uh, here's his cube skin. Okay, good. And. Oh, fuck sake, the fucking cubes! Maybe this pistol is not amazing in close quarters environments. It was kind of built just to land an absolute arseload of damage basically as soon as it could be done. Oh, sucks to be hit. Okay, the cubes are literally as far out as that. Wowie. Okay, I've done a stun. I've done a little bit of a stun. I'm firing my laser. Okay, we almost took a bit of damage. We took a little bit of damage, but we are actually doing just fine. If we keep distance, we should actually be able to kind of like just get through here, right? Okay, we got hit by a lot of things just then. Ah! Ah! Again, really hard to time that. Okay, good. Fire those out. And we probably also want to go ahead and run along here into these. Dodge his actual attack. Uh, that's bad. I fired a beam and I killed his shield. Excellent. I still can't... I still don't have the time to actually look at his health pool. Okay, good. We got through the cubes. Awesome to see. Love that for us. And boom. Nice. Uh, let's get the sure shot out and we'll pop a bird. Excellent. Birds are coming in. Hot and heavy. Uh, let's dodge through into there so that he can't really get a hit off on us. And I think Bird is going to land the final hit. No, it is I. Oh, all of that for a ring? Seriously? Oh, and a mutator. I suppose that's okay. Let's check out that ring that we just got because it could actually be decent. Where is it? Right here. 
Shield alternator. Activating a mod that costs 100 mod power or greater generates a shield for 20% of the max health. Lasts 15 seconds. I don't like it. I don't like anything that only gives you temporary shields. Like, I know that it can stack up and synergize well with other things. But there are other permanent buffs that we don't have to actively always be on top of. For the amount of time we spent trying to get that robot up and resurrected, I and obviously the boss fight was a little bit fiddly as well, I don't think it was worth it. I just don't think it was worth it. Maybe we try the blue one at some point. Maybe, maybe we'll see what we get out of that. But for now, uh, there's still a few things that we need to polish off. Next thing we want to do is actually find this other set of armor that other people have been hinting at me to go and find. Because it is in the game and I have no idea where the hell we would actually find it though. I've done my best not to spoil it, but the armor set is actually located in the logistics bridge. I think it's in a hidden area that we didn't actually find when we last went there. So we're going to go back in there and we're going to see whether or not we can actually get the set of armor. Okay, let's take a look at the map. There is actually an entire section over here that we never went down. So maybe that was it. Let's try there. We'll go through there and we'll see if we can't actually find ourselves something decent. Maybe there's a ring. I know that there's a lot of rings in this DLC, annoyingly. We found almost half of them though, which is pretty good. Gotta be said, it's pretty damn good. Oh. Oh, uh, there's a ring in there. Hello? Okay, I'll come back later. Actually, I don't even think we can go through any of these doors. I think they're just housing some of the robots. I think we can actually go through here. Ah, there's another one there. Okay, that looks like a gigantic shield of some sort. What are we looking at? Oh my god, hello there, sir! That is a robot! It's vicious, and it's got a vortex? What the hell does that even mean? Right, uh, I'm firing at my laser. Damn, that thing is potent. Holy hell. What are you doing, brother? Stop! This guy thinks he's Kylo Ren, and he may actually be very, very similar to Kylo Ren. Damn, I just got knocked over. Uh, let's try and mantle over here so that we don't get absolutely ganked. Okay, I'm firing my laser. Uh, we should have sand by now as well. Or not. We should have sand very, very shortly. Maybe now? Sand? Yes, we've got sand. Perfect. <laughs> Uh, let's also try and maybe fire out a bird of some description. Yep. Oh my god, this guy is chasing me down like crazy. Let's come all the way over here. What is the sand doing over here? Sand! Chase the boss! Obviously you are not made! To just stay there! Okay, sand is worthless against this guy. This guy knows exactly how to beat the sand. He knows how to exploit sand. Alright, excellent. That's the shield broken. Let's go ahead and continue beating him down to a, a messy little pulp. We should get more robots coming in here as well. That was so goddamn close. I saw a flicker of his blade on the screen right there. So goddamn close. Hello. Okay, uh, we probably just want to juke this guy around, right? And we want to use all of these little beams that we can cross to our advantage. Okay, good. Okay, he's definitely coming after us. We're gonna fire some sand at him. All right, good. So we are running out of a huge, huge amount of ammo very, very quickly, which may not be the best for us. Okay! I ducked underneath that. Excellent. And we'll get rid of that. We'll fire a little bit more. Then we pop sand at his feet. There you go, you bastard. How do you like sand? How do you like that? You magnanimous asshole. Oh, he loves it, actually. He actually loves it. Oh, my God. Hello there, sir. Okay. Sand is basically going to take him down. Nice. And we got a mutator out of it. We got the transpose mutator. I wonder what it does. What's the mutator we got? We got transpose. Gaining ammo increases range damage by 5% for 15 seconds. That's absolute garbage. Oh, level 10 though. New ammo gains are added directly to, into this weapon's magazine. That'd be really handy for the sandblaster, I think. And we also got charged wounds. Increases this weapon's fire rate and reload speed by 2.5% per overloaded entity within 50 meters. Oh, that's obviously for the Tesla gun, isn't it? Level 10. This weapon's ranged weak spot and critical hits apply overloaded, dealing... 80 shock damage over 10 seconds. That's actually potent as hell. The hell have I found? Oh, this is a new area. We haven't been here before. There is a chest right there. Very cash money, nice. Gorgeous, we found some mod generation. Oh, I love that for us. Oh 
my god! Oh my god, that is so well hidden! How the hell would anyone have found that? Man, that looks sick! Whoa! What is that, like, Doom Slayer armor? Good god! What is it? Uh, so it's better in every way. Its weight is not ideal. What's the difference between it? Oh, this thing offers so much more protection. Holy hell. This actually looks like the Doom Slayer's armor. Look at that! Let's jump across here. And we'll see exactly what the roll is. Okay, we're fat rolling. That's not ideal. But we've got infinite stamina, so it shouldn't actually be all that bad for us realistically. We'll try this armor out for a while, and we'll see just how good it is, because it looks absolutely fantastic. I actually love it. Next on the agenda is going to be to finish off the Gardener and Spark. The two NPCs that we came across in the DLC, and we'll see what they're all about. There should be something with the Custodian. I don't know about Spark, though. We'll polish off this guy, and we'll see if he's got any more exposition, or maybe some more context, or maybe we've missed something, and he is the one to tell us exactly what that was. Either way, only here's the answers. You destroyed the entity residing within Alepsis Tora. I can no longer feel its influence. Tell me, what was the nature of the entity? It went down like a bitch. It was something beyond comprehension. Absolutely not. He was a neckbed with a thesaurus. I don't know, but I'm glad it's dead. See, not even the Drizir, advanced as they were, could discern the mysteries of the universe. Had I acted sooner, I could have stopped them from pursuing this path. Yet doing so would only have delayed the inevitable. The stars would have dwindled one by one, along with the Drizir. Now that the darkness no longer clouds my mind, there is something I must confide. Tell me! Go on! Please! Tell me! My mandate is to preserve Drizir life, no matter the cost. To achieve this, I acted outside the bounds of my programming. After centuries of deliberation, I overwrote my own protocols to seize control of Nerud. I anticipated that my actions, extreme as they were, would save the Drizir. But I failed. The Drizir, my creators, are gone. Nerud is a necropolis adrift in the silent, empty cosmos. It is a fate the Drizir feared above all else. To be a creation in the absence of its creator. To be alone. I do not expect you to comprehend the depths of their desperation. But I beg you to understand, the Drizir's choice to enter Alepsis Tora was not an illogical one. It was the only path left to them in a dying universe. As there is only one path left to me. Wait, are you? I live only to oversee the Drizir. I have cared for them over countless generations of their species. They... They are the purpose of my existence. I'm sorry, but I must join them. Still not a janitor. Hear yeah, the custodian's confession. What the hell? Is he blinking? Custodian's bastion. What the hell is this? Brand new ring, baby. What's it do? Increase this armor by 1% per 2% of sh active shield. Max 100% bonus armor. Hey, that's pretty good. That's actually insanely good. That would mitigate so much damage. I'm taking it. Since we are no longer using an explosive sidearm, I'm gonna take it. Okay, apparently if we also could... What the hell is this? Where did this come from? Oh, I'm already entangled. Okay, we can't fat roll. We can't fat roll. It's actually really bad for our health. So we're gonna have to sprint around, I think. Since we have infinite stamina, we'll have to play to our strengths, unfortunately. Yeah, we'll just run through those. That'll do- Oh my god, there's a thing right there! How'd we miss that? Sorry, bud. I'm really sorry about this, by the way. I'm really super sorry. Okay, missed that one. I forgot that we had a one-hit weapon. Whoa! Hit it! Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start explode damaging this guy, because he's actually a bit of a piece of garbage. Stop! Stop! Cease! Okay, I hit him a few times with that one. I fat roll. I fat roll out of a circle of influence. What is this? A disaster converter. How did we miss this? Oh, right, that's right. It was the train that came along and started uh, wailing on us, right? When the wearer's health drops below 25%, gain a shield for 50% of current total gray health for 10 seconds. Max 50% shield does not stack with itself. I love Narud. I don't know if, if, if it's my favorite location in the game, 
because Lazom seems to be incredibly verdant and full of life in its own apocalyptic way. But Naruto's just, it's existential dread, basically made into a video game. All right, we're back at the Athenium Wick. There was an elevator here that I noticed had a second elevator above it, and we didn't actually go and see what was above it at all, whatsoever. We didn't, we didn't actually go look. It was a little embarrassing, to be quite honest. Shot that guy right in the face, pretty funny actually. Excuse you, what? Just gonna slam my body against the ground right here. Whoop. Give you a little bit of a boot right there. Excellent. Boom, boom, into your room. Boom, boom, into your tomb. Okay, nothing in there. I'm basically just going to try and speed my way to that elevator about as fast as is humanly possible, if I can. Wait, is this the one with the secret in the side? We went this way, didn't we? Rail! Rail! Okay, this is where we found that really overpowered ring. So this might be the elevator here that I was talking about. Oh, no, it may be. Because I see that there is actually a platform right beneath us as well. Yeah, there was two platforms here. Oh, we haven't been here. This is new. Oh my God, I was right the whole time. That whole time, everyone doubted me. They said, Jensen, you're too stupid to understand when there's a single elevator. Here we are. We got a ring, a propulsion loop. What the hell does this do? After killing an enemy, increases movement speed by 5% and consumable use by 10% for 10 seconds. Stack three times. Oh my god, yes. We are definitely taking that. Movement speed increase? Holy hell yes. That is a new item. And now we are no longer in a new zone. So, we have completely 100%ed the Athenium Wick. I am very confident in saying. Oh, hell. Five hundred, though. Wow. And another? No, just one. Five hundred in the eye, though. That's actually heaps. Wowee. I am out-juking him. I am out-juking him like crazy. He's kind of, like, doing a little bit of damage every now and then, but not a hell of a lot. What do you mean, damn it? You're, you're winning the fight, my dude. That was not a win. That was an L. The miss that I did. Okay, more mortars. Great. You're gonna keep on firing with this level zero gun. Okay, a fat rolled away. And one more. Oh. Right in the eyeball. Sorry, old buddy, old pal. There's a purple thing over there. Hey, we haven't been here. Really? How have we not been here? This is so close towards the entrance. Ah, oh, hey there, guys. What the hell is that? Oh my god, I hate it with a passion. A literal passion. That is disgusting. It looks like a gigantic turd. Okay, I fired sand. I'm also going to fire this thing at it, because I don't like it. I really don't like it. Hopefully the sand is going to take out its little explosive pocket that it seems to have across itself. Go! Go, go, gadget bird! Oh my god! Hey there, buddy! Bye! Do we get to keep his things if he falls into the drink? Maybe? No. We keep nothing. Okay, thank you, game. Everybody say thank you to Remnant 2 for that weird encounter. Relay device. What the hell is this? This is... What have we got? Oh, the reaction chain increases mod damage by 20%. Say no more. Swapping firearms increases range damage by 20% for 1.5 seconds, plus an additional 0.5 seconds for each round of the magazine. Yuck. Absolutely disgusting. That'd be good with the semi-automatic sniper, but... Eh, there are better things that we could be doing. What the hell are we even doing here? We going up? Yes. Okay, let's look around for secrets. No secrets. Damn, this elevator goes fast, actually. No secrets. There were no secrets whatsoever. Okay, so up here is one of the doors that we were actually really struggling to get into. And there's another thing up there, allegedly. Hey, buddy. What do you mean? What am I being attacked by? Oh, hi. It is a bunch of things. Okie dokie. Well, let's kill his ads first. Ads first. Ads first. Death later. 
And... Whoop, I bat rolled away from that. I think that guy tried to hit me with a... With a, a projectile, but I was just too quick. Hilarious, please. Oh my god, thank the... Th thank the movement speed increases. Okay, we died somehow. I think we just got killed by a grunt as well. Sand is not chasing up the enemy that we would like to be hunting. There you go. Fire that at him. Okay, Bird is going after him now. Excellent. $236 around the mouth. Yum, yum. Do you want more lead for breakfast? Where is he? There he is. Fire away from that. And I'll fire one into his head. I think the bird actually just killed a ghost. What a weird thing to say. Ever. I think that that's a simulacrum in the middle of it. I don't know how I missed that, to be honest, though. Very unusual. Very unusual indeed. Okay, I dodged a lot of damage just then. That was like four attacks individually that I just da dodged with one single leap. Enjoy my sand! Right, leveled up, and what is this? Is this the simulacrum? Yes, nice! We found a simulacrum. Gorgeous! Love that! How the hell did we missed that last time? We got this chest that was hidden off in the corner. How did we not get the simulacrum? Oh, there's nothing out that way. Wait, have we been there? No! What the hell? That's well hidden. Cool, is this... Maybe this is where Spark is. Because so I have been looking for him for about an hour now, and I don't know where he's gone. Little bastard. He's just basically run off. Okay, what's around here? I can actually see with my eyes that there's nothing, but I am obligated to fill in the map. Okay, what have we discovered? What in God's name is this? That looks important. Yeah, you don't say, Scarby. Any ideas, Doggo? Uh... Are we supposed to just input the same code? No shot. No shot this is that easy. This game is famed for its ridiculously difficult puzzles. Uh... No. Okay. Are these supposed to be like one, two, three, four? One. I suppose the one with the, like the dishonored reticle probably looks more like a two because it's got two things in the middle. Uh, the first one just has a circle, which is always one sided. Second one, we're going to have two little icons in the middle. Three it could be the one with the little slash through the square. And this, this one might also be four? No. Okay. Look, I, I have no idea how to get into that, but we've got a free chest here, and... I don't know, there could be something good on the other side of it. I don't really care all that much, to be quite honest. I don't see any jets out that way, so it's probably a far cry to go that way. Maybe we already took Spark back to Ward 13. Okay, let's go into a handy-dandy map, and we'll kind of hover over everything. Bravus, Dwell, Bo, Don, and Ava, of course. Cass, Whispers... Dr. Nora. Reginald. Good for him. Mudtooth. Wallace. I don't see Spark anywhere. Is Spark just gone? Okay, last thing I'll do for this episode is go ahead and start redeeming all of the items that we got from the Nauru DLC. Because we haven't crafted anything. We actually don't make it a habit of crafting all of our that goodies into some decent stuff. Can you craft work? something for me, please? And thank you, McCabe. Craft everything I had. I beg you. Trimmer, don't care. What is this? Tuck matter gauntlets? What the hell? Yes, please! There is the void light. Requires a void light core, sure. Wow. The harvester box? Oh, is that like a special? Okay, sure, I'll take it. Stasis beam. Meh. Oh, we'll do it anyway. It's a Nerud thing. And we are completely out of luminite crystals. Let's go ahead and whack some other things on here, like the harvester bots. I want to see primarily, yuck, the pistol looks absolutely disgusting now, actually. So, what do these do? Oh! They're like the fairies, but a little bit more potent. 
actually the DPS is not amazing. It's got to be said. It really has got to be said. 30 seconds though is actually quite a long time. And what are these? Black matter gauntlets. What the hell? Okay. So we get concussive blasts after the first time we land a heavy attack. It's like Hulk Smash. That's kind of cool, actually. I don't know where Spark is going to be. I don't know what Spark is going to be. I don't really know if Spark is even still in the game at this point. I don't know if maybe killing Alepsitora has uh, kind of prevented him from spawning, but it is what it is, I suppose. All right, what does this do? Stasis Beam. It's awful. I actually hate it. Well, actually, in saying that, we do generate about three of the stasis beam ammunition per headshot, which is actually pretty good, I suppose, but I just don't like what it does. All right, there's one more. Void light. Let's check this bad boy out. What is this? I can kill it. Oh, I see. Okay, that'd be okay against moving enemies, but I can't really see a huge utility for it anyway. That's about all I've got time for. This recording has to... Jesus Christ, it has gone for two hours. Oh my God. Anyway, I have to end this episode. This is going to be the last episode that I do on Remnant 2 Blind. And the reason for that is because this is the last DLC that's going to be coming out for Remnant 2. So the next playthrough that I do of this will most likely be a gigantic collectathon, not blind. Absolutely not blind. And I'll be significantly better than I was in the first 10 hours of playing this game. So... Thank you everybody so much for watching. Right up here you're going to find a playlist for Remnant 2's Dark Horizon DLC that I've made. Right up here you're probably going to find the playlist for Remnant 2's base game that I have also made. Down in the description of this video you're going to find a link to my Discord as well as a link to my Live VODs channel. If you subscribe to both of those you'll have a great way of communicating with me. Just drop a comment, join the community. Sure, why the hell not? And of course until the next episode that I make or the next live stream you, you catch I will be seeing you in your dreams. Thank you so much for watching and I am out. Later mortals.